Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over one of the best tools I've found to perform niche research for your Merch by Amazon designs, Merch Informer. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. Merch Informer is your all-in-one tool for selling on Merch by Amazon. With Merch Informer, you can access tons of data and information to help you find a profitable niche, perform product research, find keywords, optimize your listings, and tons of other helpful tools. But for this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use Merch Informer to research niches for your Merch by Amazon products. To sign up and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Once you've signed up for Merch Informer, you'll be able to access all the research tools including the Merchant Search, Product Search, Merch Hunter, Competition Checker, the Keyword Finder, Listing Optimizer, and tons of other tools that you can use to grow your Merch by Amazon business. So the first thing you need to do as a Merch by Amazon seller is figure out a niche for your products. One of the best ways to find a profitable niche is to use the Merch Informer product search tool. If we click on the product search tab here, we'll be taken to the product search tool where we can use keywords to research various niches to see which ones perform the best. As you can see, Merch Informer has a very easy to use layout. To perform a product search, simply type in your keyword, select the marketplace, then select the category. The categories you can currently search are Merch by Amazon shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, pop sockets, and v-neck shirts. So now let's go over how to perform niche research using keywords with the Merch Informer product search tool. The first niche I want to research is trains. So let's go to the keyword field and type in trains. I can then select my marketplace which I'm going to keep as the US, and my category. Since I plan to create a design for a t-shirt, I'm going to leave my category as Merch by Amazon shirts. So now let's hit the search button and see what comes up. So here are my data results for the keyword trains. As you can see, Merch Informer provides you with tons of data and information that you can use to research niches and products. Under the results data section, you can see the keyword that was searched, the total results, the average BSR, which is the best seller rank, the lowest price for shirts with the keyword truck, the highest price, the average price, the category, and the marketplace. When I'm performing niche research, two of the most important things I like to look at are the total results, which shows how many people are selling shirts related to this keyword, and the average BSR, which is the average best seller rank. Every product on Amazon has a BSR ranking. The lower the BSR ranking, the more sales that product makes per day. On Merch Informer, we can also view the products that are listed under the keyword we searched for. If we take a look at the first shirt here under the keyword trains, we can actually see the BSR for the product right here in the Merch Informer results. With a BSR ranking of 217,808, this shirt gets around nine estimated sales per day. Not too bad in my opinion. If we continue scrolling down, we can see all of the top t-shirts under the keyword trains. When researching your niche, you want to go through all the different products and see what kind of designs are selling well. You also want to make sure all the sales aren't going to just one or two products. I'd rather see 10 t-shirts getting 5 sales per day than just one t-shirt that gets 20 sales per day. That would show that customers are interested in buying different types of t-shirt designs for that niche and you actually have a chance of competing. On the right hand side of your data results, you can also see the competition score for the keyword. For the keyword trains, the competition score is an F. This means this is a highly competitive niche and you may have a hard time competing. We can see in our data results that there are over a thousand total results for the keyword trains, so it may be harder to stand out in this niche compared to others. If we scroll down, we can see another highly useful section, the related keywords. Here we can view various keywords and phrases that are related to the keyword we're searching for. But not only can we see related keywords, but also the search volume. This shows you what keywords and phrases customers are searching for the most, so you want to make sure to keep track of the most searched keywords to add to your titles, description, and key product features. Another great way to find good keywords is to look at the top products on the page here. You have the ability to see all the product information right here on the Merch Informer dashboard. If you click the blue show button here, you can also see the product description. What I like to do is look at the top products based on the BSR rankings and check out their product listing here to see what keywords they're using. But that's not all the information we can get about competitor products. We can also get a detailed look about the product's sales history. 
if we click on the information icon at the top right here, the item details box will pop up displaying all sorts of other helpful information. You can view the product title, features, and description, and if you scroll down, you can also see a chart showing the sales rank and the price history. This gives you a much more detailed view of how a product has actually been performing. As you can see, the sales rank for this product fluctuates anywhere from around 1 million to down to around 300,000. This could be anything from them running a promotion to people getting paychecks on the 15th of the month. You have to keep in mind that some niches can be seasonal and only sell well at certain times during the year. It looks like they kept their price consistent throughout this time frame at $17.99. When researching niches, there may be certain products that you want to come back to and review later. On Merch Informer, you can save products to your favorites by clicking the heart icon here. You should then see the Save to Favorite screen. You can then select a location to save the product to, then click on Submit, and the product has now been added to my favorites. Whenever you want to review the products that you saved, simply go over to the left hand side here and click on the Favorites tab. We also have the Competition Check, the Trademark Check, and the Report Infringement button. We'll discuss these in a later tutorial. So once I have all this information for a niche that I'm researching, I like to add it to a spreadsheet in order to keep track of everything. For my spreadsheet, I simply created a Google Doc. Each row will have a different niche that I'm researching, and the columns will be my keyword, the marketplace, the total results, average BSR, the top BSR, category, competition score, and the top keywords and phrases for this niche. These are simple to create, but if you would like a copy of this spreadsheet, let me know in the comments and maybe I can create a download link. So let's go ahead and type in all this information that we just researched for the niche train. There we go. Now that I have the information for the train niche, I can head back over to Merchant Former and research other niches that I want to compare on my sheet. Since the first niche I researched was trains, I think I'll stick with the transportation niche and go with cars this time. Just like we did with the previous niche, Go ahead and gather all the information and add it to your spreadsheet. I'm actually going to do this for several different niches on the topic of transportation. Having all the information in one spreadsheet makes it really easy for you to compare the different niches. So let's take a look at these and see which ones I would create designs for. Under total results, you can see that these topics range from anywhere from as low as 23 to over a thousand. Although you can definitely still compete in niches with over a thousand results, you still want to try to look for those gems with less than that. But just because it has low total results doesn't necessarily mean it's a good opportunity. If we look at Speedboat here, we can see it has a super low total results of 23 and a competition score of A. This means there's very few shirts on this topic and it's easy to compete. But before we rush to create our design, let's check out the other information first. If we take a look at the average BSR for the speedboat niche, we can see that it's over 10 million. This is higher than any other topic on my list. A high average BSR such as this means that shirts in the speedboat niche hardly get any sales. Even the top BSR for the speedboat niche is over 1.7 million. So although the top results and the competition score look good, the average BSR and the top BSR shows me that I don't want to go in the speedboat niche. So now let's take a look at one of the best results on my list here. If we take a look at spaceships, we can see it has a total results of 458. It has an average BSR of around 7 million, which is pretty normal. It has a top BSR of around 90,000, which means it gets pretty good sales per day. And it also has a competition score of A, which means it will be pretty easy to compete in this niche. So now what I would do is go through each of these niches and highlight the ones I want to create designs for. And voila, I now have a list of niches that have a good opportunity to bring in sales. Now whenever I want to create a design for my store, I can simply refer to my list and select the good niche that I've already researched. Performing niche research will help you select more in-demand topics, which will lead to more sales for your Merch by Amazon products. When creating your product title, key features, and description on Merch by Amazon, make sure you use the keyword list that we added to our spreadsheet. We've already researched the best performing keywords, so make sure you add them to your product description to increase your rankings. So once you've researched the niche, uploaded your design, and added the keywords to your description, you can publish your product knowing that you performed market research and start working on your next design. So that's an overview of how to perform niche research for your Merch by Amazon products using Merch Informer. If you haven't joined Merch Informer yet, 
go ahead and click the link in the video description and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.